First of all, I want to thank everyone that helped draft the 2040 vision. Countless hours were spent by some really smart members of our community to put that together. I think it should be noted that the 2040 vision is meant to be a guideline, not something that's set in stone. That is to say, it's not rigid, but it has the ability to be malleable. The shaping and improving of our downtown, adding trees, landscaping, and general improvements for me are a top priority. As someone that is a part owner of a downtown building and someone that offices downtown, every day I see the need for beautification. Faribault is second only to St. Paul in regards to the volume of historic buildings, buildings that can never be replaced. I will leave in a vibrant downtown filled with active shops and retail, which will draw in revenue for the community and job opportunities for the community. During my time on council, I advocated for a vacant building registration, similar but different to what Minneapolis does. Minneapolis charges property owners $8,000 annually if they have a vacant building. For me, that's impeding on someone's financial ability to restore a property. I would, however, like to see a vacant building registration of $1,000, but that fee can be waived if you have an active permit or your property is actively listed on the MLS. Permits are good for a year, so someone could pull a $90 permit and replace one window, but at least there would be some positive movement. Or they could list the building for sale and sell it to someone that has the ability to restore it. So for me, prioritizing the 2040 vision for downtown is paramount. Vision 2040 is a great vision. Actually, um, I, I can say I'm here today because of, um, of the, the vision, Vision 2040. The community came together and, and, and actually put this vision together and that's something that is, is going to be a guide for the council and uh, it is a great working document. So I strongly believe that the Vision 2040, if you see my tab, that will look at public, public safety. Recently we experienced a great flooding that we have never seen in, before, according to some experts. So that means we need to do more into public safety to make sure to assess our city to see if there is a need for us to um, to have a flawed wall in some areas, so that we can uh, uh, some of our residents can be able to be safe when something like this happens. So um, and that's one area, but we, we we are working. The council has been working entirely, uh, you know, looking at the vision to make sure um, we meet our goal before the targeted year. There were six priorities that came out of the Vision 2040. I was on that committee, and I still feel today that one of the most strategic plans that we could put forward is having thriving economic development. Thriving economic development is so important to the city that we continue to grow our tax base. Here in Faribault, we are very lucky that our tax base, from agriculture to education to being a county seat, we have a wide variety of industries and everything that calls Faribault home. We are need to continue growing our tax base so that we can lessen the tax burden to the citizens that live here.